Alright guys, today we're going to be talking about using the task manager to actually help your computer run more smoothly in certain situations. So, the first thing we have to do is bring up the task manager in Windows 7. You can press Control shift escape to do that, or you can also press Control alt delete obviously and start it that way. So, once you have it up, there are a bunch of tabs, and we're going to focus on the processes tab. And the features I want to talk to you about today are set priority and set affinity. So what is set priority? It should be pretty self-explanatory, but let's say you have a program running like, I don't know, you're watching a video or something, watching a movie, and you're also running some other things in the background, and you want to focus on the movie. So let's say, for uh, just for whatever's sake, that this program here is your movie and you want to be able to watch the movie in real in the highest priority so going from the bottom to the top obviously low is going to be low priority it, the default is normal and the max priority is real time so if you press real time then it's going to ask you to pr change the priority I'm not going to do it because I don't want to actually but then that will mean that Windows will allow that program have much more resources whether it's RAM or CPU than the other programs it'll obviously take priority over anything with a lower priority now let's talk about what the set affinity feature is this is especially good for programs that take up a lot of CPU resources and such as file compression or conversion if you're compressing files maybe a virus scanner or just naturally intensive programs like Photoshop or computer-aided design programs so what affinity does is it lets you tell Windows how many different processors or cores in your CPU that that program can use so I have actually eight cores and it goes from 0 to 7, so that's 8. Say I wanted this program to only be able to use half that because it's taken up too many resources and my computer's running slowly while that's running. I would just do that and say, okay, I only want four of those processes, processors to be used. Now, I selected Task Manager, so Task Manager is only using half those processors. And I believe it resets every time the process stops and starts again but I'm not too sure about that. So let's use an example. All right, so here we have an example of this program. It's called Prime95, and this is used for calculating prime numbers, but it's also very good for being a stress test. So we're going to see that the Prime95 process CPU power is going to be jumping up to 100 really quickly. But I don't want it to do that because I'm recording. So ahead of time, I'm going to set the priority to maybe not use three cores. Or only using, I guess that's six cores right there. Or five. And then we're going to start the test. I believe we're going to, what do we, torture test. Here we go. And I don't want to use a lot of RAM, but here we go. All right, so it's calculating and boom, Prime95. You can see it's using 61% and 5 out of 8 is just around there. And if I wanted to let it use extra CPU, you can see it bumps up a little to 72. Now it's going to 70. If I were to let that use all of the cores, it would be taking up 100% of my CPU. So obviously there are times when a software is using all the CPU and you don't want it to because you're doing other things. So this is how you can use Affinity. And you can all, I would try priority first, but affinity is kind of like a backup. And you might notice this system idle process, that's actually a system program that isn't really affecting your performance, and you can't even right click it, so I would not worry about this. Even if, if it says it's taking up 99% of your CPU, it shouldn't matter, so I wouldn't worry about that. So that's a really cool way you can use these extra features in Task Manager to make your computer run smoothly if software is bogging it down. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff is in the description. And finally, thanks for watching.